Hello, I'm Dr. Steven Scavelli, and this is End Time Revival Ministries. My very special guest for the program is Evangelist Pastor Bobby Jones. Bobby is the pastor at Wisdom Outreach Ministry in Tampa, Florida. Pastor Bobby, yes. uh, very happy and uh, pleased to have you on the show. And um, Pastor, tell me, what? Um, tell the people what God is uh, doing in the church. Well, God is really um, letting his signs mm -hmm. and wonders show in the ministry. Uh -huh. We deal with people that um, is vexed with different types of spirits and they on drugs and this and that. But mm -hmm. we had the opportunity that mm -hmm. God really used me that he used me to uh, be able to cast out devils and lay hands on the sick. But his miracles is in the, um, is really is operating, but he said that many are gonna go out in his name, mm. but they're gonna be false prophets. And, Cause mm. you got different types of witches or whatever, they can do miracles. But if it's, it's not God miracles. So therefore I thank God that God chose a vessel like me to be able to uh, not take his glory, but give it back to him because it belongs to him. Yes, ma'am. Um, in your ministry, um, so you believe this is what your heart cry is and this is what God has ordained you to do for the people? Yes, he really has. Now, God has gifted you in the spiritual realm uh, of casting out demonic spirits. And um, are there certain spirits that you deal with over and over and over again with people? Yes, it is. Um, some people just don't want to let certain spirits mm. go. Mm. But you have lunatic spirits mm. that's uh, in the church and you have um, different type of uh, mind blocking spirits mm. that that the word can't be pierced through their mind because it's they won't put themselves in the position to get delivered. But, um, but I deal with um, different types of spirit it depends on we must have people that come with snake spirits yeah. and they have um we had the opportunity to cast out uh, a certain snake it, it was like a cobra wow. that came out of them and sometimes they slide all over the floor but um but these kinds he said these can come out through fasting and praying so therefore um i just thank god for the opportunity and the peoples that i get a chance to help get well God the one do the deliverance mm. but he uses me to sure. be able to take them into that deliverance step. Uh, do you, have you ever dealt with uh, witches or warlocks or, or curses or anything of that nature? Yes I have. Okay. Has there ever been a stronghold um, that you had a really hard time casting out? Yes really. Um, if someone came to me that they had came to the ministry, but I found out why it was such a hard, because it had something to do with um, unforgiveness. Mm. So when you hold an unforgiveness in your heart, it's something stopping you from um, from this spirit getting cast out of you. Mm -hmm. And at times, some spirits speak out, yeah. out of the person. So therefore, some would tell you that they want them to be there. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when I can take them into uh, forgiving the one that hurt them or caused something on them, mm -hmm. but they have to first forgive themselves too. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it'd be so hard to be able to, you know, cast out. Now, what about what about a person's free will? Mm -hmm. um, a person, um, a person has to want to be delivered from uh, from a, a sexual um, deviation or or a witchcraft spirit mm -hmm. or, or, or whatever. I mean, a mm -hmm. person of free will, mm -hmm. um, a person can really hold on to this thing, mm -hmm. right? They have yes. to really want to be delivered, right? Yes. How about, uh, how, important, how important is the blood? Oh, the blood is so important because the blood saved, the blood delivered, the mm -hmm. blood set free. And, um, and if they don't apply the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm in any situation mm -hmm. you just can't catch you can't call my name and I can cast out something yeah, yeah, no yeah, it's yeah. got to be in the blood mm -hmm. and um, there's power in the name it's the power in the name of Jesus yes it is 
Have you have you ever had a um, entity um, speak to you? Yes. And they um, they have um, they have have they named themselves? Yes, I had. Um, they gave several names. Mm -hmm. um, um, they the enemy sent a spirit at me inside the ministry mm -hmm. um, through one of the members, and mm. um, it was. Um, this person was dealing with an Ichabus and a succubus spirit. Okay. And so therefore, that spirit started talking out at me sexually. Mm -hmm. So, and, and when I caught on to what it was doing and mm -hmm. saying, I had to realize what spirit mm -hmm. that that person was dealing with. Mm -hmm. I believe Jesus, uh, I believe Jesus asked, uh, who who are you? And uh, That's right. I, I, bl I believe the answer was, uh, uh, we are many. That's right. And uh, we are legion. That's right. And uh, according to uh, according to a legion at that time, um, it was like six thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, six thousand entities could possibly be in a uh, a person mm. that is uh, possessed. Uh, mm -hmm. Now there's, there's three types of um, there's three types of um, uh, there's like oppression, mm -hmm. depression. And possession. That's right. You deal with all three of these. Mm -hmm. uh, how often do you deal with um, the possession part? Oh, um, really often. Mm -hmm. A lot of times that that's because that's what I've been called to do. Yeah. What 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 is the most common um, what is the most common sin that uh, that people uh, deal with? Is it is it sexual? Well, it's is a it is it drugs? Lasciviousness. Okay. Drugs. Mm -hmm. um, you got a, a Marian spirit that's going on, and that spirit have really it felt that it got the um, it got the lay members, but it's mm -hmm. after the the ones that's in high places like pastors and mm -hmm. pastors' wives. Yeah. So therefore, it's trying. That's what you will see in the ministries today. Yeah. Yes, the people dealing with something, but you got to um, take a look. Yeah. You got leaders dealing with this same spirit. Sure. So it have overtaken them. Yeah, there's a, f a few well-known ministers. I'm not going to mention her name who okay. uh, who've had uh, uh, problems in this area. Oh my. I believe um, I believe the enemy comes to uh, kill, mm -hmm. steal, and destroy. Yes. And uh, the apostle Paul said that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Yes. We wrestle against principalities, and powers, and rulers, and spiritual hosts. A wickedness in heavenly places. Do you believe that? Um, well, let me ask you this: How important is the laying on of hands and the anointing and praying? It's very important mm -hmm. because you have to have a prayer life. Yeah. You have to be able to hear the Lord. You have yeah. to be able to see in the spirit. Yeah. You have to be able to see what you're facing in sure. the spirit because if you don't know what you're facing, sure. it'll sneak up on you. But God said he will let nothing sneak up on us unaware. So sure. therefore, that prayer life is very important. You've got to have the anointing mm -hmm. of the Lord to even must do yeah. and be kept of the Lord. And then another thing, mm -hmm. people have to learn how to maintain their deliverance in the Lord. You, sure. In, in your church, you have a lot of uh, a lot of people who have been delivered mm -hmm. from these types of uh, um, sins mm -hmm. and, and stumbling blocks. Um, the percentage of them are, are doing well? They're doing very good. Some, but some, they they really, um, they've been raised up as leaders and mm -hmm. some have went in and started their ministry that we set up and, um, but we got good reports. Yeah. I thank God for keeping them and they constantly keep in touch. We go see them and yeah. visit them. So uh, you also disciple these, uh, yes, we do. these uh, folks uh, at the church. That's good. I think, uh, I think a lot of ministries, uh, even myself, at the times we don't really um, we don't really disciple enough. I, you know, um, more or less have a, a teacher evangelist mm -hmm. type call, um, and um, usually uh, we send them to churches. You know, yeah. like I'll, I'll send them to uh, you know your church, or mm -hmm. I'll send them to uh, Under the Blood. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll recommend churches like that where they could be disciples. So you, yeah. you have to continue. I think the Lord said, if you continue in My Word then you'll be my disciple. my disciple. Do you find the, do you find the flesh 
uh, a, um, a very hard stumbling block for believers? Do you, do, do you think a door can be opened up if, uh, <laughs> if you don't continue with reading and praying and seeking His face? Well, in Jude um, 1 and 20, 22 and 23 said that um, said some been saved by compassion, mm. others been saved by fear, right. pulling them out of the fire, hating the very uh, garment that's spotted with yeah. flesh. So therefore, God is really God got His signs and wonders in the in the earth today. Mm. He said it's gonna come a time that. Whosoever call upon his name shall be saved. Yes, ma'am. And I know that it's it's now the time, it's the end times. So therefore it's nothing possible. But he said when you hear these things, uh wars, rumors of wars and diverse places and mm. uh earthquakes and he said, just look up. Mm. He said that's, he telling us to look up and live. That's mm. what he really telling us. Don't mm. be don't be tricked. Don't be, you know, don't don't be troubled what you see. Mm -hmm. Just look up. Trust me, I have already told you these things before it happened. So it should put us closer to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we, we as a, a, a body of Christ, mm -hmm. we uh, paticate those spirits on those people. That's why those people can't get saved because we don't want to hurt their feelings. Mm -hmm. But it ain't got nothing to do with feelings. Mm -hmm. It's got something to do with the anointing. Yes, ma'am. And the anointing will destroy the yoke. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Uh, do, you, do you find uh, or do you believe that um, this is the generation that possibly the Lord could uh, return? Yes. Do you believe we're living in Matthew 24? Yes, I do. Awesome. Ma'am, how important, how important is uh, faith? How important faith is faith? Faith is very important. Mm. Without faith, it's impossible to please uh, Christ. So therefore, Faith can move you into a place and a realm of God that you wouldn't, you couldn't do in your flesh, mm -hmm. and you know could nobody do it but Him. But mm -hmm. you got to believe your faith is powerful. Mm -hmm. In Romans um, the 13th chapter, mm -hmm. it talk about it talk about um, uh, the power of God. It's mm -hmm. talking about every soul becoming subject unto the high power. Mm -hmm. There's no other power but his. Mm. And he said, if we refuse the ordinance, refuse to use the power mm -hmm. that he have given us, mm -hmm. he said that we're going to be held accountable because it's, the word is saying to us that we begin to be a, a terror to good works. Mm. So we just worse than the ones that that's fighting against mm -hmm. um, the Christians. Mm -hmm. When you when you're casting out a uh, an evil spirit, mm -hmm. um, how important is it to uh, speak with authority and to speak to the entity uh, directly, like head on, so that entity knows uh, what name you're using, uh, the blood of Jesus, <laughs> and the authority of His name. So many people that I watch they go up, and when they get ready to do and uh, cast out. I watch, um, but they be in their flesh, not mm. knowing that they mm. in their flesh because you mm. just can't up and just do a thing. Sure. You have to really be under the anointing. You have to let the anointing operate and pull yeah. that the Spirit of the Lord yeah. will anoint you at that moment. And sure. you've got to be able, because if I'm like, when you're in the flesh and you're trying to get your words yeah. out, it's not going to work. Sure. It can hurt you. Yes. Uh, how, how important, uh, when, you, when you're dealing with strongholds, do you fast often? Yes, I have to. There's power in fasting? It's power in fasting because the Word of God says so. He told us to fast. Yeah. He told us uh, uh, these kinds come out by fasting and praying. It's different spirits depending on what you're going through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Now, now, what's interesting, a lot of the world um, does not believe mm -hmm. um, in evil spirits or or entities or, or mm -hmm. things of this nature, but Jesus himself, uh, Jesus himself dealt with uh, evil spirits mm -hmm. and he dealt with demons and he, he dealt with angels. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times, uh, do you believe that these entities bring disease? Do they bring sickness? Mm -hmm. Can a door be opened up where, where people can get Parkinson or, or, or cancer oh, yeah. or any type of uh, disease? Yes. And they, 
because you got certain spirits that, uh. let's, let's say the sexual spirit. Yes, ma'am. That spirit carries so many other spirits inside just yeah. that one spirit. Yeah. Just that plain spirit sure. just sound like sex. Yeah. It can have a murder spirit inside of it wow. because it's the deeper that you go into it. Mm -hmm. So you start trying different things. But before you know it, you've been to kill the mate or whatever. So therefore, it's it's uh, 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 it's terrible. It's demons, really. It's demons. It's a sure. demon that you're really having sex with and you don't know because why it's operating. Sure. Uh, I think um, <laughs> you can be uh, set free. You can. And then if you go back, maybe uh, seven more can come back more. It will. Uh, <laughs> more wicked than the first, it right? It will. It will. It really will. Uh, do you have any stories that you want to tell about uh, any particular uh, spirit that you dealt with? or Because uh, I know there's a lot of pe uh, people watching right now, and uh, this might be an unusual topic for them. So mm -hmm. do you have any, uh, any, um, any stories you want to tell them? Well, the only thing that I would like to say unto um, the ones that's watching, I just pray that you get something out of it, that you don't doubt what God really can do. Because me, myself, had to be delivered. And once he delivered me, he sent me back out. He didn't send me out then, but he raised me up. And every spirit that I was um, invested, well, what was inside of me, them the ones that he sent me back at, that I can see them. So therefore, he's not going to send me back out to get hurt. So the depths of sin that he pulled me out, that's the depths of the spirit that I have to be in. So therefore, when Jesus was walking on the water, when his disciples saw him, uh, Peter said, Lord, if that's thou, he said, bid me to uh, come. And Peter did. But one thing I can say about Peter, his faith moved him, moved him out of the boat into walking on the sea, but he got distracted like some of us today get distracted. But long your head is above water because there's somebody on the other side waiting on you. And all you got to do is say, Jesus, help me get back into the place that I can go because somebody on the other side is vexed with demons and they waiting on you to come and help them get delivered. Pastor, there seems to be a lot of, um, or a, um, a revival. Mm -hmm. In, uh, in witchcraft mm -hmm. and uh, it just seems that a whole generation is really uh, falling away yes it is falling away from the Lord and in, and embracing um, embracing these entities and and, yes. and, and a warlock spirit and, and, mm -hmm. and a witch spirit and and these things are um, they're real mm -hmm. and they can they can kill you they, yes, they can you can open up you can open up a door you mm -hmm. can open up the door on a dimension to the uh, to the occult. Mm -hmm. These things can come in. You give them authority to come in, mm -hmm. and uh, it could really hurt you. <laughs> Eventually, it could kill you. Yes, it can. And if you leave this world without Jesus, there's only two places to go. There is heaven, mm -hmm. and there is hell. Yeah. And uh, I don't think you want to go to hell because... Um, Mm. Eventually, all demons and Satan himself will be cast into the lake of fire That's right. and burned for eternity. You see, Jesus come to uh, destroy the works of the devil, mm. and Jesus made a way uh, so every man and woman could be set free. Uh, he was whipped and he was uh, beat at the cross, yes. and by his blood, by his blood and by mm. his stripes, you are healed. Yes and you are saved, you are washed of mm -hmm. all sin. It's not about being perfect. You're always gonna have mm -hmm. times in your life when, uh, when uh, you're not perfect, but you know, this is when you gotta go to the Lord That's right. and you confess your sin. I think it says it in First John, if you confess yes. your sin, mm -hmm. uh, he is faithful and just to forgive you That's and right. wash you and cleanse you That's of right. all sin. And That's that right. word all in the Greek means all, all, all sin. So the, the salvation, uh, the salvation message is, uh, <laughs> is for your whole life. You know, you're constantly reading, mm -hmm. you're constantly praying, you're constantly seeking his face. And uh, there are these evil spirits that seek whom they 
want to destroy That's right. or inhabit. There, uh, there's a whole generation of people that are being deceived. Yes, it is. And yeah. um, I'm telling you right now, you, you, uh, you might say I have power, um, I might be gifted, but mm. are you really gifted? Are you, are, you really, are you really operating in an anointing from the Lord? Or are you operating in something given to you by mm. darkness? Who are you giving glory to? My Lord. Who are you exalting? Are you exalting him who was righteous and pure? Or are you exalting the flesh and you are exalting the devil? Mm. Because one day, and all of us, we, we will all die and we will stand before him mm. who is righteous and pure and we will be judged and the books will be opened and uh, just hope that you're not at the great white throne mm, judgment right. and that you're <laughs> and that you're <laughs> being judged by him yeah. for rewards that's right. now is there um, is there any um, anything else you want to elaborate about uh, spirits or or uh, any other spirit that you want to talk about, or well, um, Galatians mm -hmm. chapter three talk about um, who did bewitch you mm -hmm. that you wouldn't obey the truth. He yeah. said this persuasion didn't come from the one that sent thee. Sure. So therefore, once you open up that door, you yeah. got so many other spirits. Yeah. That um, they actually they actually come in. Oh wow! Yes. They, they actually come in, and yes. the, the condition of that person is worse than. <laughs> yes, because it's different levels. When people say uh, witches, you can end up bewitching yourself mm. for not obeying uh, the word of God mm. or obeying your leader when you know your leader mm. is giving you the word of God. Paul said, "Follow me as I follow yeah. Christ." So therefore, if your leader following Christ, mm -hmm. if you don't obey the one that have rule yeah. over you, uh, you have already opened that door. Open that door to witchcraft because the word of God mm -hmm. says so. It's different levels to different witchcraft. Wow! And so, the more uh, disobedient you become, yes, people don't have to plunge stuff up yes. just to put it. Sometimes, sure. a lot of people that's mm -hmm. dealing with with spirits, they mm -hmm. have opened up that door themselves yeah. and now they have they really is a witch themselves wow. because why they the one that brought that curse on them wow mm -hmm. wow. so therefore it's so many different ways that 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 witch spirit can go to so many other sure uh, levels Ema's raising up spirits from the grave wow yeah that's a uh, that's a scary thing yes, I mean it is. Um, that's why the anointing is so important, mm -hmm. and that's why reading your Bible and praying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and seeking the Lord, um, because only in His name is there truth, right. only in His name is there power, yes. and only by the blood of the Lamb yes. can you be washed and cleansed of all sin. My word. Yes. So I thank the Lord for, uh, I thank the Lord for the cross. Yes. Because He He destroyed the works of the devil there. Yes, He did. And. Uh, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people laugh and they uh, they mock uh, us because they don't believe um, they don't believe in Satan, yeah. and they don't believe in um, this um, demonic world that we we do not see. Yeah. You know, I remember when I was a little boy, um, I was like, um, you know, 15. I was uh, sleeping in my room, mm -hmm. and I'll never forget it. I, uh, uh, I I was sleeping on my back. And all of a sudden, um, the light was on in my room, and um, I woke up suddenly, and I looked down at my feet, and standing at the end of my bed mm. was about an eight-foot entity. Oh, yeah. And it was about four foot wide. Oh, yeah. It had no neck, and it was very hairy, and it threw something at me. And let me tell you something. When you see that um, as a kid, you never, forget. ever forget mm -mm. stuff like that. Mm -mm. Um, I don't know why. Um, I don't know why the Lord um, opened my eyes uh, to this realm because I also um, study this realm too, mm -hmm. and um, the the realm of darkness is, is very real. Yes, it is. And um, you can open it through uh, Ouija boards yes, and, and, and you know, tarot cards, and um, <laughs> you can yes, really you can. do a lot of damage. Uh, 
fooled around sexually. That's right. These are all things that are displeasing to God, displeasing to Him. And, uh, you know, all you have to do is turn from it. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is uh, ask Jesus into your heart. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, it's not about being perfect. You know, none of us are perfect. Mm -hmm. and, and we all have been through things. But, uh, Pastor, I would like you to give a salvation call for anybody. Mm -hmm. And um, go ahead. Um, as I said here today, I call a salvation call, and I hope that someone that's hearing it, they will receive because it's so easy to receive. All you got to do is throw up your hand and say, yes, Lord, him, I am really mean it in your heart. Um, Romans 10 and 10 say, for some saved by, uh, the enemy and took my word, but that's okay, I'm gonna go back at it. It says some uh, uh, hard believe and some make a confession with their mouth mm -hmm. that salvation is made. So therefore, all you got to do is believe, say, Lord, come into my life right now save me, deliver me, set me free, that I want to live for you. Lord, use me. And if you really believe that in your heart, that God will use you, and you really want to be saved, it's so easy. Because he says it's going to come a time when you ask for forgiveness, he's going to forgive you, and he's going to deliver you, and he's going to save you. So right now, ask God to keep you covered up under blood. Let no hurt, harm, or danger come up on you and bless your whole household. I ask God to go into your household, go under the bed, on top of the bed, in every closet, every foul spirit that's lingering there that you need to be delivered from. I ask God to even bless and anoint your dough knobs and your dough, your ceiling and your roof and your flow, that every spirit that's hiding up in your closets and up in your dirty clothes closet, I just ask God to deliver you right now and send that spirit back from which it come from and never let it return back. Start praying in your house. Start calling on the name of Jesus. Start reading your Bible. Start anointing everyone that's in your house. And then put a anoint the threshold of your flow when, your, when people walk into your house. Then they won't bring those evil spirits. Once you invite it in, it can come in. So therefore, sometimes it come in on people's and so therefore you just got to know what you're letting in and then i just ask god to be a blessing that you'll be a blessing to someone else amen pastor i want to thank you for being on the show amen. Amen. and um if you said that prayer please uh, give me a uh, email amen. the email will be uh at the end of the show and um until we meet again this is uh pastor bobby jones from uh, wisdom outreach amen. ministry in Tampa, Florida. Amen. The great church, go there. Uh, if you have a problem, you can be prayed for and may the Lord bless you and keep you until we meet again. I'm Dr. Stephen Scavelli. Amen. Take my word.